Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you into my backyard where I have my blueberry plants. It's time to do a little maintenance on them, clean them up. Time, good time to add some fertilizer and some uh, soil acidifier. At the moment, I don't have it, so going to work with what I have. Now, during the fall, I did put a good, good layer of pine needles, which are very acidic. So I know that they have some acidity in them. So let's clean them up, get the dead off of them. I'm noticing some are starting to bloom already. So let's get busy. I like to wait till they have leafed out quite a bit. And see here, I, I, last year I tipped them. You want to tip your uh, newer shoots after they have bloomed and produced berries because that way it causes them to shoot out lateral branches along the stems and that's where you get more of your berry production. This is a time to pull out unwanted trees that have popped up out of the blue and you're going to want to trim off any dead limbs you do not want any limbs to be allowed to grow on the ground you're going to want to check for dead limbs up the branches and see this one was tipped too and so you're starting to see all kinds of little lateral branches coming off of it now and they should bloom as well and then here's one that is blooming very nicely and as you see right here it's a lateral branch that's blooming so i'll have blueberries before long you want to snip off any dead off of them. It'll invigorate them to grow even more. You want to check every branch. And of course, as they get bigger, I'm going to have to space the pots out even more. That one is nicely cleaned up and looking good. Okay, we're going to move to the next one. And you want to, before you do that, I've got a lot of leaves here for mulch and fertilizer. You want to look and make sure there's no grass coming up. You want to get all, all any seedlings of grass and weeds coming up because you don't want them to compete with your blueberry for nutrients. Let's move to the next one. Okay, that one done really good through the winter. This one took a little bit of a beating. I see some weeds coming up. I want to get rid of all of them. Unfortunately, when you weed eat, when you weed eat, it flings grass seeds all around. And eventually, I want this area to be grass. You just pull them up. You'll remove any dead branches from the bigger trees around them. Clean up around the roots. Make sure nothing is strangling them or around the stalks. 
and we're going to clean all this dead out. And see here I have a branch that's running along the ground. It's dead anyway. That needs to come out. There we go. And we're going to clean out some more of the dead down here. If you want your plants to be healthy and you do not want them to have to compete with weeds, I'm going to have to get my better pruners to those. And we're going to want to pull it back and clip off any dead. I'm going to tip this one here. Tip that one there. Remove anything that looks sickly or like it's not going to make it. You have to be careful. Looks like I knocked off one of the lateral branches. It says this is a perfect time to do it because that way you can see what is alive and what is either dead or starting to die back and just clip it. If you take good care of your blueberries, they'll take good care of you. Okay, I'm going to bring you back when I start on the next one. Now this blueberry is my favorite blueberry plant that I have. It makes giant blueberries the size of quarter, but it took winter pretty hard. So I've got to trim it back quite a bit. And I get all this dead off of it. Alright, sorry about the noise in the background. That's, that's not under my control. So I'm going to finish cleaning this one up and I'll bring you right back. Sorry y'all, these children are supposed to be children. Don't know how to behave anymore. We don't know how to act like children. But I wanted to show you 
this blueberry here. See, it's already starting to bloom. I've got it cleaned up real nice. It's going to bloom in stages, thankfully. Where did I see that? Here it is. See, I got blooms here coming. I've got blooms here coming. So I've got her good and cleaned up. She lost uh, a big stem or branch. So hopefully she will send up some more and branch out even more. Now, I've got three clean. I've got three more to go. Let's get busy. Okay, this one hasn't done too bad. It needs a little bit of love. We're going to snip that off. Now, right here, you see it's starting to die back. I'm going to snip it just above. No, just above that bud. And hopefully it'll stop the die back. This one has died back, but it's still alive right here. So, I'm going to snip it there. This is frostbite here. I'm going to snip it right there, and hopefully it'll stop. I'm going to snip this tip here. And each one of these are going to be potential lateral branches that will form either blueberries this year or blueberries next year. Now this one's looking rough. I see a bud here. I'm going to snip it there. See a bud there. I'm going to snip it right there. And I see a bud trying to grow there. I'm going to snip it here. But I also know I need to keep an eye <coughs> on these in case they die back some more. That one's looking fairly good. I'm going to keep an eye on it because we have some cold temps coming. I've got what weeds that were trying to germinate or that have germinated up out. If you don't, like I said, you don't want any competition. There's no branches growing across the ground. You want them to have airflow. And hopefully, this little one will grow up and tip that right there because it's dead. I'm just going to keep an eye on it and make sure that the, the it doesn't die back any further. This next one is in really bad shape, but it's still trying to live. So let's go to the next one. Now this one is in really bad shape. It did not do well at all through the winter, but on a good note, it is still alive. So I'm going to try to keep it that way. I'm going to take some heavy pruning, which I really don't like to do. But if it keeps the plant alive, I will do it. You do what you have to do to keep your babies alive. And hopefully, this will encourage it to continue to grow. And you want to double check 
make sure you don't see any buds coming on where you're going to clip. Man, I hate to see all these branches go, but I also know that they're dead, and they're not going to do me a single bit of good. up and I broke the clippers I'll be back okay we're gonna try this again if these break something serious y'all wrong Ooh. That's some tough little wood. It's dry as a bone, too. Okay, I'm going to clean this one up. These people around here have lost their ever loving minds. This one is doing really good. I am thankful these are not grafted or anything because of what's alive is coming back up from the root stocks. So thankfully, they should grow back. I'm gonna come back with my loppers to get that center piece out to give room for these to grow. I don't expect any blueberries off of this poor little plant this year, but next year it should be doing fine and well. Give it a chance to recoup, regrow, and come back even better than before. And it's heartbreaking to see how much it died back. But the main thing is, it's still alive. It's still alive. And we'll see. I'm going to baby her and make sure that she grows back to her original beauty. Okay, on to the last blueberry bush. Okay, last but not least. These last two winters have been brutal for these blueberries. They have, it has been ungodly cold. No, I'm going to have to come back with my loppers because I have this branch right here coming off this one and I need to cut this back down to just above where this branch is coming out so it'll live.
Now this one is still alive up here, which does not make any sense. But hey, it's still alive. So I've got to unfortunately cut back most of all these laterals. Which would have produced blueberries this year. It's heartbreaking, but you do what you got to do to keep them alive. And hopefully, this will encourage them to throw up some more shoots. See, that one had a partial alive one still on it. You just want to remove the dead. Ooh, the sun started going down, y'all, and it is getting nippy out here. And you want to go up each branch and remove all the dead. Now make sure that it is actually dead. Because you don't want to snip anything that's alive. And as long as you take your time you can tell what is still alive and what has died. I'm hoping since they've become acclimated to these brutal winters we've been having, and I know some people are laughing, but yes, they've been rough down here. I've never had this much die back on any blueberry I've ever grown. I'm not taking this part because there's little baby leaves coming. Okay, and this one. Okay, Frost got that one, so I'm going to go back to those two green branches. Some of these are so dry, you can just snap them off. But you want to make sure, and see that one has a little bud forming on it right there, so you want to leave it. Oh my gracious, is that what I think it is? I think it's a bud. It looked like a flower there for a minute. I'm like going, oh no, you don't. Okay, this one is good.
there's still a possibility that I might, oh, that one's died back. Like I said, clip back to where you see branches that have green leaves. They just need to be fertilized really good. And this one I'm going to snip back because it's dying back. It's a labor of love and it's worth every minute of doing it. And you want to check. This one has a lot of little ones that you can just pop off because the twigs are so small. You only want to take the dead ones off. And I'm hoping these are going to grow out bigger coming this way. You can see all the laterals on this one coming out. Because somehow it got tilted. And here's one dying back that I missed. What you're doing is trying to stop the dieback. Once it gets snipped properly, it should stop the dieback. And what I'm going to do is I'll bring my loppers in. And <clears throat> right to here, I will lop this dead branch off. And it will give this good healthy branch a chance to grow bigger. Now some, depending on how they grow like this one, the way it's growing this way into here, I'm probably going to cut it off this fall. It all depends. Simple, easy, anybody can do this. You just got to have the blueberries and the patience to take care of them. <laughs> and they will reward you greatly we have six and I would love to have many more blueberries because there is nothing that tastes like a fresh picked in the morning you want to pick your blueberries in the morning before the heat hits them. That's when they're the sweetest. When you are blessed to be able to pick a blueberry that's the size of a quarter and that is sweet as can be, there's, there's nothing like it. It's an absolute blessing. Simple, easy, anybody can do this. And of course, all of them, yes, are organically grown. So, no pesticides, no chemicals, all natural fertilizer so that they'll grow good and strong and healthy. And we will be healthy in return. Everyone, I hope this video encourages you to grow your own blueberries. Yes, it's a labor of love, but I absolutely love being able to sit here, spend time taking care of the blueberries so that they can grow and thrive, and we can as well. Everyone continue to stock up your pantry with foods that will nourish and heal you grow as much as you possibly can so you can can it and put it back. Grow medicine that will heal you. Protection of all kinds and the bare essentials to survive on. I look forward to seeing you in my next video and may you each be blessed. Hoot hoot. I'll see you soon.